Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday. Coming at you with 2020 Panini Absolute Football. Six box, inner case, random division break, number two. All card ship. Everyone gets a random division in the NFL. Big thanks to these folks for making this happen. There are the divisions right there. Let's roll it and randomize each list. Two and a one, three times. One, two, and three. Kevin down at Jacob. And then two and a one, three times for the NFL divisions. One, two, and three. After three times, NFC North, then to the NFC East. All right, Kevin, you have the NFC North. Gail with the AFC East and the NFC South. Daniel with the AFC South. Roy with the AFC North. Gail with the NFC West and the AFC West. Nice. And Jacob with the NFC East. Let's sort this by division. And any trades? We'll give it a few moments for trades. It might be a division trade. We got the second, uh, there's the inner case right here. Six boxes. Of absolute football. I'm not, what did, does anyone remember what was pulled in the first inner case? I think Sean did that the other night. Looks like no deals. AFC North up for trade, maybe, if anybody's interested. The AFC North. We got a soccer break. If you look at the schedule, folks, we got the soccer break coming up after this, and we'll go through, looks like we got a little over a dozen orders. So we'll get that going. I think we're pretty on, on schedule at the moment. If not a little ahead. Maybe not, Roy. I'm going to have to roll. TWC trade window closed. Oh, let's bring Roy back here. Let's print and rip. Of course we can break tonight. Card? Why, why, why wouldn't we? If you look at the schedule, we got we got plenty of time. Imagine if it sold out and I was like, nah, we'll do it next week. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy talk. It sells out and be like, eh, tomorrow. Next month. All right, good luck everybody with this one. Looking for the ultra rare kaboom inserts. Those are always pretty, those are always really fun. Well, card, you may, you may as well just, uh, you may as well just take it now just so it can get locked in on the schedule before other stuff fills up. You don't want to run into like, you know, an hour long break filling and you're going to have to wait even longer for that. that that's right, Rex. Everything's done on not, not only my terms, Jaspi's terms. It sells out, it breaks. Tonight. Are there cards underneath here? Devontae Adams, Todd Gurley. And behind CeeDee Lamb is Jalen Ragor autograph. Looks like 36 out of 60 
for the NFC East. It's going to be for Jacob. Nice. Sold out. Playbook sold out. Nice. Thank you. So once I, I got one more break to do after this card and comic, then we'll go through orders and then we'll get that on the schedule. And behind CD Lamb is going to be Team Tandems, Damian Williams and Clyde Edwards Elaire, 17 out of 25. We got a schedule pinned in the chat, card and comic, so if you keep an eye on that, that'll eventually get on the schedule and appear. AFC West, dual relic for Gale. Got Kid Reporter card, CJ Mosley, Frank Clark. And we got a Steven Montez to 199. That'll be for the NFC East. That'll be for Jacob. And behind the numbered Philip Lindsay is another team tandems, Hunter Henry and Joey Bosa. To 199. That's for the AFC West. That's going to go to Gale. And that Philip Lindsay, by the way, was to 75 for the AFC West. There's Brian Edwards to 100, also for the AFC West. Dalvin Cook, KJ. Uh, Osborne to 199. And behind the Dak Prescott is Michael Pittman Jr. Triple Relic and Auto to 399 for the AFC South. Daniel, last spot mojo. Next box. That official printout, by the way. Philip Rivers to 25. So show you Austin Eckler right here, red zone to 50. And then we got Jeremy Chin to 75. All right, behind Ryan Tannehill is Vaughn Miller. Behind Ryan Tannehill is, I thought this was going to be a hit, is Matt Ryan. Autograph, three out of five Hallworthy signatures. Matt Ryan, Matty Ice, NFC South. That's going to be for Gale. Of course, out of fives and under. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Nice. One more hit behind Ryan Tannehill. It's going to be Sammy Watkins. Dual relic, piece of the pigskin in there too. 26 out of 49 for the AFC West. That's going to be for Gale. Aaron Rodgers behind Le'Veon Bell is Juwan Jennings to 149 for the Niners. NFC West, Gale. And Josh Kelly is your War Room Relic to 199. AFC West, Gale. Le'Veon Bell, Terry McLaurin, 
Amari Cooper, and Ben DiNucci is going to reveal a Cam Akers triple relic and autograph to three ninety nine. It's got a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice penmanship too. NFC West Gale with the Rams in the NFC West. Nice. Oh, the Danucci was numbered to 199 for the Cowboys, NFC East. And third box. There you go, Josiah Gray. All right, we got Jared Goff, 10 out of 25. This is still Rams edition here. Going to go to the NFC West, Gale. See how he does in Detroit. We got Dalvin Cook to 100. Michael Pittman Jr. to 100. Behind David Johnson, we've got Josh Jacobs and Jordan Brooks to 199. And looks like Eagles colors. It is. It's Jalen Hurts. Triple relic and autograph. Piece of the pigskin in there, too. 27 out of 199. As of now, he's QB1. NFC East. Jacob Odom. Nice. Behind Darren Waller is another Jared Goff. Behind Darren Waller is a Jason Huntley. To 75. 55 out of 75. Your favorite from Dr. Dobbs to Garlic Fries is not your moment. Get a taste of the ballpark experience delivered on demand. Your first dog. And behind Darren Waller is LaMichael Pirine for the AFC East War Room Relic. To 199. Gale with the AFC East. All right, behind Frank Clark, Kenny G. Behind Frank Clark is a Clavon Chasen autograph to 149. That'll be for the AFC South, Daniel. And behind Frank Clark is Randall Cunningham, piece of his jersey. Nice, to 199. All right, a few more boxes to go. Does anyone remember if we saw the Kaboom insert in the other? I don't know if they're, I don't think they're guaranteed one per case. But maybe the odds, and it kind of falls one per case maybe. Right, did anyone see the Kaboom card in the first inner case? Roy says there was not a Kaboom insert in the other one. All right, let's see if we can find one here. Again, I don't think they're guaranteed every master case, but at least we know it wasn't in the first one. All right, we got Christian McCaffrey to 25. 
All right, yeah, Gail confirmed there was none either. All right, so maybe we got some kaboom possibilities here. There's Josh Allen to 100, stargazing AFC East. And we got John Hightower the fourth to 75 for the Eagles. NFC East. Stephon Gilmore reveals a Anthony Gordon to 199. As well as a Darren Waller card. And then behind Stephon Gilmore is KJ Hamler, triple relic and autograph for the Broncos to 299. AFC West, that's going to be for Gale. There's Ezekiel Elliott. And there is Leroy Kelly. 34 out of 99. Sensational standouts autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. AFC North, Roy. With Leroy. Roy with Leroy. Behind Josh Allen is going to be a Devin Singletary Groundhogs Relic, 25 out of 99. AFC East, Gale. Buffalo. Behind Marvin Jones Jr. is Jared Goff again. And a couple more hits. We've got Chase Claypool, Triple Relic and Autograph. Nice. To 399. Big Ben just uh, restructured his contract a little bit, giving the Steelers some cap relief, maybe cementing the Steelers' position on what they're going to do with quarterback. So Big Ben still around for a couple more years. Here's Jerry Judy, 8 out of 49. AFC East. AFC North, Roy, tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo on that Chase Claypool. All right, two boxes to go. So now I guess the Steelers are um, are out of a quarterback hunt, right? They've, they've pretty much cemented their position on what they're doing at that spot. Where, did, where does Deshaun Watson end up? He really doesn't want to be there in Houston. Yeah, those kubooms are not easy. Not easy to hit, Joshua, that's for sure. All right, we got Brian Edwards to 50. We got Tyler Johnson, Super Bowl champion to 100. Fantasy flashback, Isaac Bruce to 100. 39 fantasy points. Oh, 11 receptions and 229 receiving yards and a touchdown. That's not bad. All right. Behind Marvin Jones Jr. is Jawan Jennings to 149, NFC West, Gale. Got a Cooper Cup. And a Debo Samuel dual relic. That window can't contain that relic. 51 out of 99. Gale with the NFC West. Tredavious White reveals a signature standout. Dermonte Dawson. 78 out of 99. Another one for Roy in the AFC North. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. And we got Baker Mayfield, Air Raid Relic. Oh, another one for the AFC North. 134 out of 199. We 
know, DJ Chark, Tredavious White. Behind Chris Carson is Marquise Brown and Colin Johnson to 199. And behind Chris Carson is James Morgan, triple relic and autograph to 399 AFC East, Gail. All right. Final box. Good luck. Joey Rich, any spots open? So many spots open. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We got introductions. Chase Claypool. That's to 75. Willie Gay Jr. to 25. And to 100, Brett Favre. Got Joe Mixon. And behind Melvin Gordon is... Antonio Gibson, nice, to 75. Gail with the NFC uh, East. That, no, check that. Jacob with the NFC East. Jared Goff, Air Raid, Relic, 108 to 199. NFC West, this one's for Gail. Redemption, Derek Carr. Behind Cooper Cup, Jalen Ragor. Woo! One out of five. Big piece of the pigskin. Says the Duke. Wilson on it. Wilson! Wilson! That is for the NFC East Jacob. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice. Behind Dwayne Haskins is AJ Epinesa to 75. And then Carson Wentz, Jacob Eason to 199, AFC South Daniel. And the redemption is going to be Chase Young. Nice. Signature rookie Spectrum Red. Maybe to 99. Maybe to 49. NFC West. Or I keep doing that. NFC East, Jacob. With the Washington football team. And there you go, boys and girls. That was 2020 Panini Absolute Football. Which was absolutely fun. I appreciate everybody getting into random division break number two. Do we, should we do a quick little recap? I might as well pull that up. There was a pretty pretty solid break, I thought. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for Jalen Hurts. was pretty nice. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Matt Ryan in there, too. Plenty of breaks available for tonight. Get into it. jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.